Hello and welcome to our virtual VBS. We are so glad you're able to join us here today. And now, it's time for our virtual VBS. Let's go and jump into the adventure. Oh, how, hey, hey, Cooter. How, how, what are you doing? Uh, I've been up all night. The creature's gotta be around here somewhere. What do you mean? You mean you haven't slept at all? I've been, I, I'm sure he's gonna come by at some point. But the thing is, we got one more day on our expedition, and we're gonna find this creature. I, we're you, gonna make sure we find evidence of this creature I, just for you. I have to have the story. I have to have something. So let's get up and get packing. Let's go. Okay. Hey, Howie! Why don't you climb up in that tree stand there and see if you can, you know, see some creatures? Okay, if there's any still Bob's around. Bob's jump! Don't be afraid of heights up in there! It's okay, keep going! I'll make sure I don't shake the ladder, ha <laughs> ha. Keep on going! Do you see anything? Uh... Nothing? This was a giant waste of time. I shouldn't have come out here. Hey, don't be down on yourself. We're gonna find it. A long time later. Well, Howie, I think we need to take a break. Okay. I'm wiped. Me too. Well, my grandpappy back in the olden days, you should tell me a tale about the gollywumpus. Oh, are you gonna tell me about this gollywumpus? Well, I usually don't tell people about this, but the gollywumpus is a big, Creature. What does it look like? Well, it's it has hair. Very hairy. Makes loud roars. How tall is it? Well, it's about, you know, six, seven, ten feet. You know, it's big. You look up and like, wow! Yeah, that's scary. So why don't you ever tell anybody about this golly wampus? Well, I just don't want people to be afraid up in these parts of these woods, because they're gonna miss out on a lot of things that we have up here. Like like the boogers. Like the boogers, exactly. If I were to tell the story, I would have people like you up here. They'd be so frightened. They wanna come back. And I want friends. Well, it, it's okay. Well, I, I'm just so sad you couldn't see the creature. I know, I wish we would see it somewhere. And there's, you know, we're still leaving tomorrow morning. There's still hope. Oh, I don't know, Cooter. It's, we've been here all weekend. Well, we've got a bond going on, and, and I feel like I need to make you a treat. Possum pot pie. Now, why don't you go grab some firewood, and I'm going to make some possum pot pie. Possum pot pie? Yeah, that's what I said. Possum pot pie. What was that? Cooter! Cooter! Cooter, where are you? Cooter! Ah! 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 Stay away! It's me! Gotcha! Cooter! <laughs> Cooter! Well, there's no creature in these parts! I was just here to scare you. Well, I was just telling you the whole story to get you to believe there was a swamp creature, but there's really not. What? I was just doing it to scare you. There's no monster? Not at all. The golly womp is a swamp creature. It's all made up. How do you know? Because I'm the swamp creature. I'm scaring people. Well, Howie, I'm very sorry you couldn't find your creature. Well, let's head back to our camp and get some swamp boogers and some possum pie. And oh. you can maybe write about that in your little magazine. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's Come on, do Cooter. that. After leaving the swamp, Howie wrote a different story than he had originally planned. Instead of writing about the swamp monster, Howie wrote a story about Cooter and the swamp boogers. Howie's story was picked up nationwide and propelled Howie to instant fame. As for Cooter, if you're in the right part of the Indiana swamp, you might just hear him singing of swamp boogers and possum pot pie. Now open up your Bibles for story time with Jeannie. 
This story can be found in Luke 19. Let's look at verse 1. This story is about a man named Zacchaeus. Maybe you've heard of him. It says in verse 1, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans. Now a publican is just a tax collector. He was rich, and he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the crowd, because he was little of stature. That just means he was very short. And he ran before Jesus and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, that just means hurry, and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste, he really hurried, and he came down and he received him joyfully. A lot of times when we think of Zacchaeus, we think of him climbing up in that tree to see Jesus. And maybe you sung the song about Zacchaeus climbing up in that tree. But there's a lot more to this story than just Zacchaeus climbing up in the tree. Let's look at verse 7, what it says. And when they saw it, that's a crowd of people, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. In Jesus' day, tax collectors like, like Zacchaeus were hated by most everybody. You see, they would go into the homes and they would collect taxes, but they would often take two or three times more than what they were really supposed to take from the people. And then they would keep the extra money for themselves to make themselves rich. You can see why people didn't like Zacchaeus very much. They felt like he was stealing money from them, and he was. But let's look at how he changed. In verses 9 and 10, it says, And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. You know, when Jesus came to Zacchaeus' house, something changed. Something became very different. The Zacchaeus that used to take money from people, now he said, I'm going to give half of my goods to the poor. And if I've taken something wrongfully, I'm going to restore it fourfold. What made the difference in Zacchaeus? Why did he all of a sudden change into being a man who gave money away rather than stealing from people? Do you know the change was because his heart changed when he took Jesus as his Savior? Yesterday, we talked about some colors that reminded us of how we can get saved. We talked about that everyone is a sinner and their hearts are dark with sin. You know, Zacchaeus was definitely a sinner before he got saved. He was stealing all the time. But then we know that Jesus' blood is able to cover that sin and wash away those sins. And that's exactly what Zacchaeus did. He trusted in the blood of Christ to take away his sins. And then his heart became as white as snow. And that same thing can happen to you. If you recognize that you are a sinner and your heart is dark with sin, you can trust Jesus' blood to cover that sin and make your heart as white as snow. And then you'll have a home in heaven with Jesus someday. I wonder if you've asked Jesus to be your Savior. If you haven't, you need to think about receiving Him as your Savior and letting Him change your life just like He changed the life of Zacchaeus. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I pray for the boys and girls who have heard our stories, and Lord, I pray for their hearts to love you. I pray for them to give their heart to you, that they would confess their sin and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and take him as their Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing along with the three amigos. Today we learn about doing right. And today we're going to sing a song that talks about owing, oh, being careful what we do, what we say, and what we trust. So let's go and sing, oh, be careful, little feet on the very first. Here we go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father up above is looking down and loves. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. 
go. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little heart, what you trust. Oh, be careful, little heart, what you trust. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little heart, what you trust. You sang really good. Let's go on to our very next song. It is very important to be in your Bible, to study it, to know what God says you need to do with your life. So we're going to sing a song, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. So everyone kind of, kind of crouch down a little bit so you have time, places to grow, and let's go and sing. Here we go. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. to read your Bible. What do you do? What happens? You shrink. You shrink. You shrink. You don't become stronger in your relationship with God, but you actually get weaker. So it's been saying, neglect your Bible, forget to pray. Here we go. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray. Forget to pray. Forget to pray. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray. And you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Now you can barely probably see us on the screen right now, but we can't stay like this. We have to grow. So let's go and read our Bibles pyramid so that we grow in the right direction. Here we go. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow. That's what you need to do. Be in God's Word, read it, and grow, grow, grow. We're going to send you over to Jordan with craft time and have a good time building some cool crafts. See you later. And now we're here for craft time with Jordan. Feel free to pause the video as needed so that you can do your craft right along with Jordan. So for today's craft, we are going to make Zacchaeus and his tree. So first thing, we are going to take our hand and we are going to trace it out on a piece of brown construction paper, just like this. And then you're going to take it and you're going to cut it out and go all the way around the hand. I already have one cut out, just like this. Then you're going to take it and you're going to glue it onto a piece of blue construction paper. So when you are applying the glue, make sure you get each of the fingers covered in glue. So it does not fall off when you stick it on. And then turn it over and press it on. Make sure you push it all the way down. Just like that. Now, after you have this, you are going to take your, you should have green tissue paper in your kit. I do not have it, so I have green construction paper for today. Then you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to take it and you're going to go around to your hand and make 
blue spot so you can stick on your leaves. And you're gonna take your, tish your tissue paper and you're just gonna take it and stick it around on the spots where you have blue and press it down. And this will make the leaves for your tree. And if you need to, you can go back through and add more blue and more leaves until you're satisfied with what it looks like and you think it looks just how you want it. Then after this, you're going to take your Zacchaeus and you're going to put him down and you're going to color him. You can color him however you like. I have this one right here that's already colored and I'm going to use him for today. Now we're going to go ahead and take our paper and be very careful when you're doing this. You're going to fold it slightly right here at the bottom of your paper. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to put them right here on the fold and snip to create a little hole which we will use to slide our string through and we're going to do the exact same thing up here in the tree. I'm going to take it, hold it, and then snip it to make that same hole up here. Now we are going to take our string and we are going to thread it through the holes of our page I'm going to make sure you thread it through on both sides then on the back you're going to take them and you're going to tie it at the bottom of the page Tight in a knot and a bow. I'm gonna just take mine and tie it in a knot. Just like this. And then I'm going to cut off the excess string. Then we're going to take our that piece that we colored earlier. And our piece of and a piece of tape, and we're going to put it and take it, and we're going to stick only part of it on. So you don't want to push down the entire piece of tape; just stick part of it on. Then you're going to put him on the string, and you're going to take the rest of the tape and bend it around your string. So Zacchaeus is now up in his tree. Then once your Zacchaeus is like this, you can take the string and you can pull him down from the tree. Just like when Jesus tells Zacchaeus to come down. So if you do not have the craft kit and you can't do this one, you can still do something very similar. You can take out just a piece of paper and trace your hand out on it and color it to a brown to make your tree trunk. And then from there, you can take your green crayon and color it to make it look like a tree, like I have done here. And then with this, you can do the exact same thing and fold your paper in half, well, not in half. Fold your paper just like this and make your slit in the tree. And then you're cut on the ground. and thread your string through it. And if you don't have the little Zacchaeus, what you can do instead is take a piece of paper, cut it out, and draw a little person to be your Zacchaeus. Just like this. It doesn't have to be anything super artistic. 
and then you can take him and you tie it to the string and move him up or down. Thank you for watching and joining me for these crafts. I hope you had a good time doing them and thank you. Thank you for joining us for this year's virtual VBS. We'd love to see you come out to a service sometime. We have children's Sunday school on Sundays at 10 a.m. And we'll be doing more virtual programs just like this starting next week. Come back to our Facebook page every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for a special children's program with songs, puppets, Bible lessons, and more.